Mr. Harris, uh, your take on 4% reservation given to Muslims now been scrapped by the Bombay government and that's now been allotted 2% to Wakaligas, 2% to Lingayats. It's unconstitutional whatever they have done. It's not uh, on a right track and right way they have to do. Any reservation when it is brought in or when it has to be removed, there are formalities under the constitution of India which they have to follow. This government has not followed any of the rules or regulation of the constitution of this country. So it is, it is not acceptable anywhere. We are going to fight it out in a legal way in the court judiciary. And we are sure that it will come back and the government will have to say sorry to whatever they have done. And giving reservation to other communities, we welcome that. You give reservation to anybody and no community has asked them to remove some other community's reservation give to them. So none of the community has asked that way. And these people purposefully, and do, because of the last cabinet of before election, it is just going to be another 30, 40 days for election. Why they have to do this? It is totally to polarize the voters of the state and confuse the voters and nothing else. This government has so far has not achieved anything. And they're just trying to fool the people with this also. So I'm sure this is, you know, this is not the right Mr. way Harris, to do it. You are a prominent leader within the Congress party. I have a question yeah. for you. Here is the BJP's, um, e even the Home Minister Amit Shah, who came down while speaking at a stage in Karnataka, said, enough and more appeasement politics has been done towards the Muslim community by the Congress party. It's now time and turn and chance for other communities also to benefit from this reservation law. You know, the people who are talking all this are the people who don't know the history of this country, who don't know how this country was formed, how the constitution was made, and why the reservations were brought in. And there is no appeasement to any community by any government or any party. But these are the rights of that community, particular community, which they have to get it. And they, are, they have got it. And see, there is a, the, the constitution says, when you give the reservation, and how it has to be removed or how it has to be given, are, are they, they are following the constitution of this country or they are doing only politics 24 bar 7 okay. hatred politics which they are doing you are saying country. this is unconstitutional just, but, but a, a quick last question yes please. a quick last question would you, uh, how, how, uh, how would you take the fact that the 4% reservation has been scrapped but Muslims in Karnataka still have reservation but now they come they fall under the 10% economically weaker sections category with the same benefits Hello. That, that is not at all, that is, that is much different from what this 2B is. So they are just trying to confuse people, which they have always done. And, and this time they are not going to be successful with this confusion to the people. And people know what they have done. They are trying to break between okay. the communities by taking away this reservation from one community to other community. No, no community has asked anyone to remove and give us. They have asked, we are also telling you, give them. Nobody is telling, don't give reservation to any particular community. So this is all political stunt for the election. They are doing and nothing else.